morning again, students. How are you today? I hope you're still great, okay? Now, we're going to have our science time. Science time. And we are going to answer all the questions in your book before we're going to the next chapter, okay? We need to finish all the questions in your book in unit three so that next week we're going to do unit four which is habitat okay so are you ready yes i am okay very good now before we answer or continue answering your book we're going to do again this one, okay. We need to do this one. Memorize, remember, don't forget so that it's easy for you to answer the questions, okay? And you can use it every day of your life about plant. Okay, so what is this again? Plant, very good. And this one is what? Seed, very good. Actually, this is a mango seed. I think I told you that one last time. Okay. So this is a seed. And the seed will grow, will become an embryo, and it will grow to a tiny plant until the plant will grow and grow and big okay and remember last embryo seed is the one who get a tiny plant a baby plant and it will become an adult plant okay that is seed very good and what is this Oops, wait a minute. I'm sorry, okay, let's go back. Let's go do this first, okay? So this is, yes, this is roots. Very good, remember again, what is the work of the roots? it absorb water okay it will get water from the soil and it will goes up going to what's this stem very good so when the water when the roots get the water or absorb the water it travels now to the stem and the stem We'll put the water into the leaves, into the fruits, into the flowers. Good. And that's the work of the stem. Okay? It is the way. It's like a transportation. Transport the water to the leaf, to the flower, to the fruit, or to the buds. Okay? Okay. Don't forget stem. Okay. And also, class, stem holds the plant to stand upright. Okay. Especially when the stem is very strong. Okay. It helps the plant to stand upright. Okay. Going up. Upright. Next, we have leaf. Okay. What? is the function of the leaf or what is the work remember they are the one making the food for the plant by the sunlight okay yes by the sunlight the leaf will make the food of the plant and it will transport to the stem and the stem will transport to the roots to the fruit to the flowers okay 
Good. Now we're going to flower. Okay. Flower is the one who makes the plant attractive and beautiful. Okay. This is flower. Good. I know you will say, teacher, always this one. Yeah, so that you will remember and you will not forget. Okay? Good. Again, let's do it again. I want you to tell me in a fast manner. Okay? Faster. A little bit faster. Okay. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Good. I'm going to fix it. Okay. This is plant. Very good. This is seed. Yes. This is roots. Great. This is stem. Very good. And this is leaf and flower. Okay. Students, don't forget those parts of the plant. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, we're going to finish our book in Unit 3. I'm going to share you my slide. Okay. Can you see this one? Yes, you do. Okay. So last time we explained that in STEM there is Okay. There is a thin thin stem and wick. That's why they climb to support their self. They climb to another and sometimes they climb to the thick and strong tree, okay? And for example, this one, this is a big tree. This is pipal. And the stem is very thick, very strong, okay? So the climber or the plant who have a very weak and thin stem they like to climb here they like to climb like this you see these plants they like to climb why because they want to see the light they want to get food okay remember water and food is very important to a plant so that they will grow they will be healthy if they don't have food, they will die, okay? So they need to climb to the strong stem so that they can see the light. I want to see the light. I want to get food. I want to make food, okay? So they're going to climb like this because they are very weak. They need a strong tree to do or to get light from the sun. Okay? Very good. Okay. And stems, colors, they have green. Oh, I'm sorry. I already put red here. This is green. And some trees, they have brown and dark. And this is coconut. They have brown stem. Okay? So you can see this is a dark brown color okay yes it means that a plant is not always green their stem can be or can have different color like brown dark dark brown and sometimes it's like yellow brown okay they have different color also but mostly they have green stems especially for the weak plant okay this one they are vines 
vines or they call it climber. They climb the strong stem. That is why they call them climber. Okay, climber plants or vines. Good. Now, what is this? Last time we talked about tendril. Tendril is also help the weak. Weak, they're weak. So they need to climb the strong stem to support them so that they can get sunlight. And tendril is also one. Aside from stem, they have tendril to support themselves to stay up, okay? So that they can support themselves. Aside from the stem, we have this one, tendril, okay? It's like, it's like, looks like an antenna because they crawl going up and it will have a curl like this, like circle, circle. Afterwards, they're gonna circle here. We're gonna cover this one because this one help them and support them to stand, okay? To see the light, to get light from the sun, okay? Okay, good. Now, let's continue our discussion here, okay? So last time, we already answered this one. Why do the roots grow into the soil? To blank the plant in the soil and take in blank from the soil. Why do the roots grow into the soil? These are roots. Why? To hold. Okay. They're under the soil so that they can hold the plant. This one. To hold the plant in the soil and take in what? Water. Okay. Remember, roots are the one who absorb water from the soil very good how about letter b why are the roots root hair this one root hair this is root hair hairs many branching out from the roots why are the root hairs branching out from the roots Remember, this is the roots, okay, root. And then suddenly it's branching out. These are the root hairs, okay? Why? Why they're branching out? Because, anyone? Okay, to take more water for the plant. The more hairs, the more water can absorb, okay? So, to take more water for the plant. More water that the plant need. Okay? Good. Now, let's go to number 12. Number 12. Look at picture B. Okay, this one. This is picture B. Okay. Letter A. Name one important thing a leaf needs to make food. What is the most important thing the leaf needs to make food? That they even climb to the strong stem. What is that? Good, that is sun. Light. That is the most important thing the leaf needs to make food. Okay? Great. Now let's go to letter B. Letter B. What characteristics does a leaf have to help it get as much of as possible? What is A? It means sunlight okay sorry okay i'm going to read again what characteristics 
Does a leaf have to help it get as much of sunlight as possible? What is the characteristic? What does the leaf have so that they can get more sunlight? So that they can make more food for the plant. That is green and big flat surfaces. The more greener, they can absorb more sunlight. Okay? And big leaves. Okay? Flat leaves so that they're going to spread out so that the sunlight will come and they will make food okay so the answer the characteristic does a leaf have is green and big flat surfaces okay like where is this leaf this one big the leaf must spread big green okay and flat so that they can absorb more sunlight. Okay? Good. Now, let's go to the next page. Page 26. Okay? Page 26 is the last page that we are going to answer before we go to the next chapter. Okay? Good. So, number one on page 26. Look at the two plants below there are two plants this is a tree tree okay and this is a climber climber i explained this one a while ago okay so look at number one look at this two what can you see about this one the climber small and this one the tree is big and strong okay thick it's also thick the stem is thick okay so letter a compare the stems of the two plants okay this is the stem for the climber plant and this is the stem of the tree plant the climber has a blank stem but do you think why the climber climb? Because the climber has a thin and weak stem. Okay, that's why they climb. Whereas, whereas the tree has a blank stem. If the climber is very thin and weak, how about the tree? How about the tree? It is thick and strong stem. Okay? Thin and weak for the climber. The vein or the vines. Okay? Sorry, it must be vines. And the tree has a thick and strong. Okay? That's why thick and strong stem. Okay, now let's go to letter B. Letter B, why does the climber grow on the tree? Why the climber grow on the tree? It climbs to get, why they're climbing? Why? Because they want to get what? Sunlight. Very good. They want to get sunlight. Okay, that's why they're climbing to the stronger stems or stronger tree. Finish? Nice. Okay, now let's go to letter C. Name one other thing the climber can use as a support to climb. Name one other thing the climber can use as a support to climb aside from the stem what is the other one that's like looks turning round what's that it's like a spring that is tendrils very good tendrils the one that i showed you a while ago okay well we are 
discussing. Okay, so this is the last page for this unit and now we are finished. Okay, are you finished? Yes, no, yes. Okay, very good. So I want you to answer properly, write the correct letter and the correct word. Okay, understand? Very good. Okay, so that is science and we already finished unit three. Next week, we're going to do unit four and that is habitat. Okay, very good. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye class. Goodbye, bye. Okay.